the Death Delay Club. We like What's to up, you people? Tune entitled Shamalama Ding Dong. Yeah. So hit it. What's up, people? This one's going out to Obama Shamalama Ding Dong, my man. So, I think he's breaking all kinds of records now, right? Going from the highest approval rating to the lowest approval rating in the shortest amount of time as a president. Yeah. Kind of kind of fitting right in with the uh, theme of today's show. And today's word of the day is uncertainty. Uncertainty. The one thing the market doesn't like more than anything is uncertainty. When you're uncertain, you sell. Now people are wondering, oh, do I buy on the dips? Where's Joey Dippard in a time like this? How come Joey Dippard didn't step in to buy the U.S. Steel? Uncertainty. When you got something to worry about, you sell. And one thing's for sure, when the market goes up for 10 months straight with about 10 days down over 100 Every hundred days, we went up, we went down about ten. So it's real easy now to take some money off the table. And again, remember, it's not me and you because we didn't make any money, right? Everybody seemed to be complaining about 2009. I know, right there, you're saying you made money. I know. There's people out there that did okay. Now, of course, my uh, I ruined my year by thinking that I was going to outsmart the market, waiting for that pullback. So, hey, my 2010 might be tremendous right now because my biggest position right now is the quid. But uncertainty. There's a reason that the market's going down right now. And you want to think it's the earnings? You're all confused now, right? You're wondering. These reports seem to be good. How come the market's going down? They seem to be blowout numbers. How come the market's going down? Why is my stock down 10%? They had tremendous numbers. Anticipation and uncertainty. Uncertainty about the future and what Shamalama Ama Ding Dong is going to do to us. Healthcare aside, because that's like the furthest thing from, from the table right now, right? We got to furry, worry about the banks. And the funny thing is that that, that that banking conference that they had, they had the Goldman Sachs, they had Jamie Dimon out there, and they had all those guys giving their uh, interviews. Did they actually say anything that was pertinent? What should have been done that day was we should have had a guest appearance by Donald Trump. And after they were done for three or four of those, three or four of those hours of testimony and saying how they didn't know this and they didn't know that, which only proves that there are no smart people in the world. Because we are supposed to believe in these CEOs. And the reason they get paid those huge salaries and those massive bonuses is because they're smarter than you and I. And they know how to run a great company and make decisions that matter. They know how to make decisions that will help that company thrive. What really went on was that they made decisions to try to sucker everybody out of their money without thinking about the consequences. And now, here's a guy, I think it was Jamie Dimon, whatever the hell his name is, he went and said that he didn't realize that the housing market would not go up forever. He actually said that. If I had a clip right now, we'd roll the clip. He said that. This is a guy that's supposed to be... Oh, we're off to the races. As you know, I don't care. The market opening up is just a basically... It's like amateur moment. It, it, you're going to get ripped apart at the open. Granted, you might catch something that spurts one way or the other in the right direction that you want to be in. I will sit and wait to see how it goes. Let me just screen it down. This guy and the whole lot of them, we should have had a guest appearance by Donald Trump. And after they were done testimony, he would just go, you fired. That would do something. If... We were able to go into the private sector and see what they've done and just fire somebody. Not allow them to get the bonus. Take away their salary. Make it hurt where it counts. Take their money. Take their money. Because I know personally, and I know people that I know, there's an amount of money where you could live comfortably. There's an amount of money where you could pay your bills, 
have some extra money, go on vacation, buy your kids some nice stuff. And that's basically where I try to get my life to, try to make enough money to stay in a reasonable position in life. You don't, you can't tell me that you need to make $15 million a year. And that's just a, that's just a, a figure I just came up with on, off the top of my head. You can't tell me that you can't figure out how to live another uh, a life without making that much money. I know it's a socialist or a communist kind of concept where everybody gets an evil, even amount of money. But there's got to be something more than just putting them on the stands and trying to ask them, what happened? What happened? Because they know what happened. And they should be held accountable. And they should be fired. They should be fined, sanctioned, something. Slap parties... If they would have instilled my idea with slap parties, every six months we get to come to your office and if we think there's something fishy going on, eh, there's a big slap waiting for you. All right, let's go see what's what, what's worth worth happening. And remember, you got to come to the chat room and you got to see what's going on. And I had a guy come into the chat room yesterday. He was all confused. How come you guys aren't talking about stocks? You guys are just chit-chatting about bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Where's all your posts and stuff? First rule of trading. You don't search for trades. When the good trade happens, it's coming to you. You don't go out looking for stuff, sitting there for eight hours trying to find something to do. When you try to find something to do, that's a loser trade. So if we're talking about movie quotes and sports and other things in the chat room, when you come in, don't say this is a waste of time. Because if you want, if you want to know what happens... Okay, oh, oh, Rambus alert, Rambus alert, we're in at Rambus at 2398. Just went positive at 2394. So there, if you're in the chat room, not that I did anything right now, but when a stock goes positive, that's been in a downtrend, we call that the little pivot, reversal, you get in, try to make a little bit of money. Anyway, the moral of the story is, you come to the chat room. Now, let's, let's assume... We don't talk about anything. Let's say we're talking about kitchen appliances for seven hours. And you sit there for seven hours, right? And then I come in, buy XYZ here at 2850, and the stock goes to 29. That's 50 cents. That's your day. Are you happy making your 50 cents for the day? Because what I do is I come into the chat room, we go live, or either I'm typing or I'm on streaming, and I come in and I give two to three winners every day. I don't want to hear about what you did, Krull. I want to know what you're going to do. I don't even know what his point was. What was your point? What was your point? There wasn't enough stock talk. You need to know, you need to hear about bull flags, stag, st 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 stochastic, is that what it was? I don't know. If I come in and I hand you, if you're in the chat room doing nothing all day and I come in, and I cyberly hand you $50 or $100, is it worth it to come in and hang out in the chat room? Oh, and somebody else said I have a disagreeable personality. Is it? Do I? <laughs> oh, man. You know what? Once I realized I can't please everybody, my life got a lot better. All right. The Rambus right now is flat again. Anyway, good luck to you. Come to the chat room. It's free. More importantly, you get to make some friends. You get to set up your own page. Oh, now the, now the Rambus right here. Boom. Boom. Look at that. Auto Trader. Fantastic. See you later. Your mother likes it.